Your grandmother sips gin slow in a speakeasy. Your great grandmother <laughs> slips, sips gin slow in a speakeasy in Chicago or Detroit. Stokes the flames of a pot-bellied stove in Alabama or Arkansas. She is cigarette, fix the precipice of red lips, tells a suitor, maybe your great-grandfather, maybe not. <laughs> What she expects of his courting, there will be no hoarding pleasure in her house. Your great grandma was fast. <laughs> and ain't that what we call a woman well acquainted with the topography of a hostile world yet unbowed to its backhand? A juke joint majesty, a siren of her own fire, a thing this world has endlessly tried to expire but could not, which is why you are here today. <laughs> Your grandmother, cursed or never cursed, drank or never drank, knew men the way Job knew trials or never knew sin at all. She was a country girl or familiar with the infinite heat of a New York City street. She was sweet on a woman once they kissed and never told. She was Irish or Dominican or golden brown as a Mississippi dirt road glinting in the sun. She has labored whether with hand or with heart. She has known part and parcel of struggle, knew she was done birthing after birthing the child that birthed you or knew others would follow. She has swallowed decades of broken promises made to look like men or money. She was choice made flesh long before we flung a pro around its neck and called those words movement. Movement is what she has always known, prone to survival, which is why you are here today. Your mother was never only your mother. Never only lover or law clerk or domestic worker. Your mother was defiant in a bathrobe and slippers, in a boardroom, in a bedroom where she said no or yes or more with a body like the one she taught you to own like your own good name. She is failed and flawed and fortune forged in flame. The best of what could be made of this star shine and clay, an inheritance of blood and grace, which is why you are here today. And we call this evolution. The way one person becomes seven billion by splitting an idea like an atom. How the single notion that every woman ought to be the absolute mistress of her own body could gather us like rainwater, deliver us here, queer and trans, man, woman, none of the above, but out loud love and the certainty that a true word spoken 100 years later is still true. You deserve every option available to you in service towards your best life. There is no light brighter than the blaze of resistance. Evolution is the insistence that we grow or die, which is why we are here today, redefining the way we see each other with broader vision, carrying a great grandmother's mission forward like a seed tucked in the pocket of humanity. We are not tasked with the awesome calling of making a tree. We are tasked with the noble work of nurturing good soil, a place where we each might grow and toil toward a self-determined truth, where trans women, undocumented youth, little black boys playing alone in parks, each make it home at night where the light of morning kisses us awake. The work of evolution is not to figure out what the next 100 years will make. The work of evolution is to plant the seed that from this precipice of history, we simply cannot see or know, but nevertheless will grow until you are the furthest point on a map of the future that looks 100 years back to a crowd that looks exactly and nothing like you or us. But nevertheless, I trust will say they are why I am here today. And we will call that evolution.